In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change your WordPress password from Hostinger. Now, this will be a step by step tutorial. And if you follow it all the way until the end, you'll have successfully changed your password in a couple of minutes. So you want to go to Hostinger and then log in to your account. Now, once you've logged in here, it will take you to the dashboard and you need to go ahead and choose the website that you want to edit the password for. So I'm going to click on the three dots in the top right hand corner and then go to websites. Alternatively, you might just see websites at the top here on the header. So go ahead and go to websites and then find the website that you want to change the password for. You can see I'm choosing knowledgebasedtutorials.com. Now, this is a WordPress website, so I can go ahead and click on manage. Then once you're inside of manage, you want to scroll down and go to databases and you want to open here PHP my admin. Now once you're inside here, if you have more than one website on your hosting or hosting, you're going to have more than one database here. So you need to choose the database which matches the website's password you want to change. Now, how do you know which website is which and how do you know you're changing the right password? So what I recommend you do is scroll down, then go to files, then go ahead and open file manager. But because we need to come back to this page, just right click on file manager and then open link in a new tab. And then that will open up file manager in a new tab. Now, what we're trying to achieve here is just know which database we actually need to edit. Now, don't worry, it is very simple. So go back to your file manager tab, then go to access all files of business web hosting. If you go to your domains folder, it's going to show you all of the different websites that you've got on your hosting uh, hosting, right? You want to go ahead and choose the website you want to change the password for. So in my case is knowledgebasedtutorials.com. So we're going to go ahead and double click on that, then go public. And then we want to scroll down and we want to look for wpconfig.php. Now, once you've found this, right click on it, click edit and then you should then be able to see here the database name so here the first db name is going to be the database name that we need to edit so i'm going to remember here ukpzm so i need to choose the database which ends in ukpzm so now what we can do we can go back to the original window remember this is the window where we can see the current databases we can get here by going to databases php my admin so go back to this page and you can see here my sql database we're looking for the one which matches what we found earlier which is ukpzm so now we know we've got the right database we can enter php my admin now, once you've entered in this, we can essentially just go ahead and change the password. So this is going to open up this window. What we want to do now is scroll down and you want to look for WP underscore users. Go ahead and click on that. Now you'll see all of the users which can log into that website. If you go ahead and click on edit, you'll then be able to edit the passwords. So make sure that this here where it says user pass, make sure in this drop down menu, you've selected MD5. So you can scroll down and find it or just click M on your keyboard and it then should go to MD5. Once you've done that, you can then go ahead and change this password here in this box. So I'm just gonna change it for this video to pass 123, 123, and we can then go ahead and save that. So if you scroll all the way down and then just click go, it then should change it. So now let's go ahead and see if that has been updated. So now we can go ahead and head to our WordPress website. So I'm going to go to Hostinger. I'm going to go to the dashboard and I'm going to go to the admin panel of knowledgebasedtutorials.com, which is the website we're editing. That's going to redirect me to my WordPress admin area where I can usually log in, right? Now, because I'm already logged in, we're just going to go ahead and log out real quick. So now let's go ahead and type in my username and then we will type in the new password. So I'll just go ahead and show you this. So I think it was pass 123123. Then we can go ahead and click login and it then should log us in and hopefully we've done everything right. There you go. You can see we can now log in to our WordPress website. So that's how you can change the password. Don't bother trying to log in because I'm going to change this back. If that helped you out, leave a like and comment down below.